I'm Wayne Green, Editorial Pages Editor of the Tulsa World. It's November 4th, the day after the general election. At this point, we don't know who won the presidential election, but we have two winners uh, with us here today. Uh, we have State Senator uh, Dave Rader from uh, Senate District uh, 39, a Republican, uh, uh, who, who won last night, and Representative Melissa Provenzano, uh, from a uh, Democrat from House District uh, 79. So Senate side, Republican, uh, uh, Dem uh, Democrat from the House side, we've got uh, good perspectives here. Let me start off by asking each of you, as, as we come out of the election and, and into the session uh, next year, what are the most pressing problems facing uh, the, the legislature uh, in the coming session? Senator Rader, why don't you start us off? Uh, I sure will, Wayne, and thanks for the, the time here. Um, it might be, before we go any further, it, the uh, viewers might be interested to know that Representative Provisano and I share some precincts. So um, not all of them, but we share some of them. So we represent some of the same people as we talked today. I think that the most pressing issue that I see coming up is the, uh, um, the, the funding for Medicaid expansion. Um, we, we know that it's in the Constitution now, and we have legislators uh, swore an allegiance to the Constitution is our obligation, and it's actually our responsibility uh, to, uh, to fund Medicaid expansion. So we're, we're going to need to find a way uh, to do that and um, do it by July 1. Yeah, so that's a significant budget challenge, no doubt about that. Melissa Provenzano, Representative Provenzano, forgive me. What uh, what issues do you see facing the legislature in, in a pressing way next year? I have year? to agree with the senator. The budget is uh, the, at the top of my concern list. Uh, I know there are ways uh, that we can tackle that uh, because, you know, for, for so long, the state has had 100% funding of Department of Health, Department of Corrections, and Department of Mental Health. And now the federal government will offset some of those costs. Uh, but we had hoped that, that 814 would make it across the line uh, to help with that so we wouldn't have to, to incorporate it into those budgets. So I think now looking at uh, the bottom line is going to be number one. Yeah. So as you say, state question 814 would have resolved the issue in, in large part, but it, but it failed. Also failing last night was state question 805, which was a, an, a, an effort to, to, uh, to adjust how, how judges sentence nonviolent criminals uh, uh, in, in the interest of reducing the state's corrections costs and, and reducing the, the, our, uh, our over-incarceration uh, problems in the state. So uh, that leads me to ask, ask you this question. Is, is that going to make it more difficult to, uh, to get other so-called smart on crime issues through the legislature next year? The fact that the, the, the people rejected state question uh, uh, 805. Uh, let's, let's go in reverse order this time. Re Representative Provenzano, what do you think? I think there'll probably be more of a laser focus on the criminal justice uh, reforms that we tried to tackle for certain uh, now because people have a, a heightened sense of awareness um, still needs to happen though. Uh, and this was an, a, 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 an initiative pursued by the people, you know, through petition drive. And so there is a, a big interest in it. Um, but I think perhaps we can look at what worked and what didn't work in the messaging that people were most concerned about and tackle it piece by piece. Senator Rader, on the Senate side, in, in your caucus, do you think it's going to be difficult to convince people to vote for, for I'm sorry, the legislators to vote for uh, smart on crime uh, issues, given that the, the people have, uh, by fairly strong numbers, uh, rejected a smart on crime uh, proposal? No, I, I don't. I, there's an appetite for sentencing reform. Um, and I, I think that, I can't speak for all the legislators, of course, but um, what was turned down by the people um, is, is one way to do it. There's other ways to do this, and I, I think those are still on the table. I'm very confident that we can have some sentencing reform. Uh, um, I think we have to. Uh, we, we have way too many people in prison. Um, we're paying way too much money for that, and we have some people that, uh, upon release, are not going to harm my grandchildren. I understand that. And at the same time, we, we, we need the programs 
to uh, actually reform and have a way to have what I call prisoners or incarcerated people being tax gatherers and make them to be taxpayers. Um, and, and so there, there's, there's some reforms that we need to do here as well as people that um, let's go ahead and and have it some type of system where we, we know that we can give people a second chance and give them a job to do that uh, because a job is, is, is essential for that. Um, right. As you know, I'm on the board of John 316 Mission and so part of, of our, our mission there is, is to um, restore individuals and, and, and the, the year long program that the men are in and the women are in, a key to that is having a job come out and we see that when they have a good job coming out you can be a whole lot more stable so I th that's a mixture I know I've talked about two or three things there but I really believe we can we can accomplish that and but we have to yeah. we have to there are, I agree with you sir I think there's so many simple things we could do like making sure people walk out with a copy of their birth certificate and their social security card and if possible some sort of trade certification if we could give them those tools, they're much less likely to, to re-enter the criminal justice system. Um, we, we set them up for success. Uh, it, and then that's actually, and I think the appetite is there for that, as well as looking at the sentencing, sentencing reform. Right, sure. So, you know, as the non-legislator in the conversation, I'll just throw this in there. If, if, the, uh, if, if the argument is that the people have rejected this, uh, uh, this idea uh, in, uh, in a vote, the, the fallback solution is, well, why don't we try something else and put it to a vote of the people? We, let's, the, the legislature can, 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 can refer, uh, you know, it'd be two years before we, we get to another general election, but, uh, but you always have that option. We, 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 we can test the theory that the, that the people don't want this by, by asking the people to vote on it. Well, Wayne, I, di I didn't take it that the people don't want it. They, they didn't want what was on the ballot. And I think a lot of people are hesitant to put things into the Constitution. And right. th uh, that is a lot of fallout from the, the, the marijuana vote that, that we, we, we took a couple of years ago. Yeah. We're seeing it wasn't, you know, there's a lot of strings that came attached to that. And it's going to be very, very difficult to tweak uh, that law. Um, so I, again, I, I think there's an appetite. I think as I was going around, um, campaigning this year, uh, people want to see it. Um, and there's a way to do it. Yeah. What was on the ballot, the people didn't want, but I didn't take that to mean that the people do not want sentencing reform. I didn't take it that way. So forgive me for, for one more quick question to both of you. Sen, what, what are you doing today to celebrate your victory? Senator Rader, what, what, what are you doing? I picked up some signs and, and banners. <laughs> You're cleaning up uh, the, the, the streets of Tulsa. I, I got about eight, eight banners out there that, you know, people were very kind to let me hang on their fence or, or whatever. And so we need to take that down. And, and, you know, you just can't, you know, the signs that may have been at, at a, a polling place, we had all of our polling precinct workers take those home. And every now and then a sign, and Representative Provisano may have the same issue here. Sometimes you, you're driving down the street and you see a sign and you know that you didn't ask for it to be there. So you try to go back and pick that one up because you, you don't know how in the world that sign grew there. But we ask our people, you know, the people that were, the good people that were kind enough to put it in the yards, of course, we, we get a little bit, um, shall we say, oh, cocky, say, well, why don't you just put it in your garage and bring it back out <laughs> four years? So, yeah, you know, the, the, the smart candidate doesn't put a year on, on, on his signs because you know, they're, they're, right. they're always good next time around. Uh, Keep the colors <laughs> the same and bring them back out in four years. Sharpie works great. <laughs> 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 how did you celebrate your win today? Oh gosh, we were up at 6.30 collecting signs too. We actually um, got permission from a lot of private property owners near precincts because we didn't want to put them on public property. And uh, so we, we went to uh, all of those folks and collected signs and uh, they are currently filling up the back of our, our, our car. Uh, and then uh, I had a very large lunch just now <laughs> from a local business. And I'm pretty sure that after caucus meeting this afternoon, I'll be taking a very long nap. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and not answering the phone. <laughs> Wayne, Wayne, I, I don't know if you know that yesterday the, the city, um, I guess it was a city, um, in, enforced the uh, rule as they see it, the 300 foot rule as they see it, which a lot of us didn't agree with their 300 foot rule. But man, they they confiscated a lot of signs yesterday. I don't know if you I don't know if you're aware of that. A yeah. lot of signs. That, that was a big dump truck. That yeah. went through. Well, uh, it keeps the city uh, people uh, busy and 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 occupied. They're not doing other mischief. There you, you go. Do. There you go. There you go. Listen, <laughs> congratulations to both of you. Uh, good luck to you in in the coming year. And thank uh, thank you for your time. Sure.